We're continuing with a series on the will of man, um, which falls into the category of um, looking at man as the creation of God. And we have seen in uh, the teaching thus far that um, man has an in, there is an inward man and there is an outward man. Scripture does teach us that. The outward man is obviously, obviously our physical bodies. Um, and the inward man we have seen is really made up of four parts, four different parts, which is the spirit of man, the soul of man, which is the understanding. To, to incur that penalty so that he could get that reward is not really the right term, but he, so that he could get, um, so he could become like God. He wanted to do, be like God. And so he was prepared to incur spiritual death so that he could become like God. So he made a a rational decision based on his, now it's irrational to us obviously, but in Adam's mind that was the choice that he was given and he chose to go that route. So he knew he would die, so he wasn't deceived. Eve uh, was deceived by God, and the, but the spirit always wants to please God. And so here the two are in complete opposites, they want to go in different directions. And so Paul admonishes us to walk in the spirit and not fulfill the lust of the flesh. So we have the choice, and that choice is based on the will of man. We have a choice based on our free will. Even as born-again believers, we can choose to walk in the Spirit, or we can choose to walk in the flesh. It's our choice. God does not force us into any direction. We make the choice.